Now, again, the same idea. Solve for t, or sorry, and these are t's, not thetas. So we want to eliminate. But here, it's not as easy to solve for t, right? Because if we were technically going to solve for t, we'd be using inverse sine and inverse cosine. So we want to write an equation that's in terms of x's and y's. Well, what we remember was cosine squared of t plus sine squared of t was equal to 1. And if you guys remember, if you remember on my notes, that was very similar to the equation of a circle, right? Remember the equation of a circle could really be represented as x plus x squared plus y squared equals 1. Or based on its angle, cosine of theta or cosine of t squared plus sine of squared. So these are really kind of equivalent. So what that means is if I have trigonometric functions, all I need to do is evaluate for cosine of t. Now I'm going to write it like this. Because I want you guys to understand that cosine squared of t is the same thing as cosine of t squared. So I just need to solve for cosine of t. So I divide by 3, divide by 2. So therefore, I can say x plus 3 squared plus y over 2 squared equals 1. So therefore, that's x squared over 9 plus y squared over 4 equals 1. And we'll just leave it like that. That's perfectly fine. We are going to learn, or if you remember from last year, we'll talk about what that graph or what that equation represents.